Hi there guys, Justin here again. In today's video, I'm gonna show you the service is safe to disable in Windows 22 H2, and this applies both to Windows 10 as well as Windows 11. So the reason you'd wanna go ahead and disable services that you don't use is that it's going to free up CPU cycles and it's gonna enable less CPU processes in the background, as well as it's gonna free up RAM cycles or lower your RAM usage. So just to show you, I'm using OBS to record the screen so my, my stats aren't going to be exactly as they are normally. But as you can see, uh, with OBS running, with screen recording, I've only got 40 background processes. This is normally at about 35 or 36. And you can see my RAM use, I've got 16 gigs of RAM. My RAM usage is not that high, but this, um, this normally sits at about 11 or 12% when I'm not recording. So you're gonna lower your RAM usage, you're gonna lower your CPU usage, you're gonna cause less background processes. That's why you wanna disable unnecessary services. So I'll put this list in the description of the video. So you can just go through this list. Um, these are all the services I have disabled on my system. They are slightly less than 21H2, but there are one or two services that we were able to disable in 21H2 that in 22H2 it actually breaks windows. So these are tried and tested and this won't break windows. But I will state, like a windows search this can help you with latency. If you do use your fingerprint to log into windows, don't disable windows biometric service because obviously that's going to prevent you from using your fingerprints. If you're using a printer, don't disable print spooler. But everything else, you're good to go. By disabling these services, as you can see, I've got a stable version of Windows running and these are all disabled. So how you go about it, you click on the Windows icon, just type in services, click on that. And then first and foremost, you click on name, puts everything to alphabetical order. Then you go to your startup type, because you really want to target these automatic services. Um, and as you can see, all those services are over here. But you don't really need to do anything to manual because manual will only really be triggered uh, if it's on automatic. So that's why we're going to be focusing on the automatic processes. So just go through this list and then what you do is I'll just use this example. So let's say you're starting with device association service and we're going to pretend that power is that. So let's just double click that. No, no. So just right click that and then you're going to press stop because then it's going to stop it from running and then you're going to go to properties and from automatic and then set it to disabled but because this example I'm not going to do that so I'll close that so just go through this list and as I, as I said just go, to, um, go through this list right click it press stop so it's not running then go to properties and then every time you restart your computer the service is going to be disabled and yet again guys um, Yet again, guys, this is just going to prevent your system from using CPU cycles that it doesn't need to use and RAM cycles it doesn't need to use. And it's also going to help you with latency a little bit. But um, look, thank you so much for watching. I just went over 500 subscribers recently to all my subscribers. Thank you so much uh, to those of you that celebrate Christmas. Merry Christmas. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. But other than that, guys, have an awesome day. It's people like you. Cheers.